our section cut. So let's make a new layer. Uh, we're going to call this layer our section cut plane. We'll go to our layer and let's make that section cut red um, as we've previously done. And we're going to go to our clipping plane. We're going to choose a vertical clipping plane. And we're just going to quickly draw a vertical clipping plane. So this is our clipping plane. And you can see how it works. Now what we want to do is we want to create a floor plan. So we want this to be a um, clipping plane that matches. Uh, it's a horizontal clipping plane. So a, f a floor plan is essentially a section. So let's take our clipping plane and we're going to rotate this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in move and I'm going to move our clipping plane to uh, this edge. So now my clipping plane is exactly uh, four feet above um, our, our floor because I drew this four foot line. So yeah, there we go. So let's go to our view. Let's go to set view and we're going to set it to top. And now this is our floor plan. So let's select everything and we're going to type in make 2D. And if we go um, to our view again, you can see that the floor plan was generated. And of course, just make sure to clean it up so you can see that our floor plan was made from that make 2D command. And then you would do the same thing um, to the second floor as well. So let's go back to perspective view. And let's start to move it up as well. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our plane. So I still have this four foot line and I'm going to move it um, to the floor itself. So now this section is actually four feet above the second floor. Um, so I automatically have that as well. Let's go back to top view, set view, top, select everything and uh, type in make 2D again. Okay. And then if we go up, um, we can see, let me go ahead and delete this. We can see that our second floor plan uh, was generated as well. It actually overlaid on top of this. But you can see that if you look right over here, our second floor plan will end up generating and looking like this. So make sure you do it for level one and level two as well. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to create our sectional elevations. Uh, so from north to south and from east to west. And the way that we're going to do this is... Um, Let's go back to our perspective view, set view perspective. And you look right over here, um, you start to have a slight problem in the fact that our building is slanted. Now, if your building is north to south, uh, that's quite important. But if your building is slanted, you have to keep that in mind as well. So how we're going to fix this is we want this to be aligned with the topography. So let's draw a line. So this is our line. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a line that's completely horizontal. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going to select my entire topography and I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to take this and take this and I'm going to rotate it to match this line. So essentially what I've done is Rhino has a lot of difficulty in creating uh, section planes that match perfectly with one axis. So what happens is now I've actually rotated our site model to perfectly match with this orientation, uh, which is kind of the front view of uh, Rhino. So now you can see that if I create a clipping plane, so let's type in clipping plane. Let's create a vertical clipping plane. You can see that since Rhino works in kind of that one direction, it becomes really useful uh, in terms of when we use our Make 2D. So I just rotated it. And now I have a section plane that's perfectly aligned uh, with the topography. So I'm just picking a view that I think is appropriate. Um, I think that uh, I think that this view is kind of nice. You're intersecting with the staircase. You're intersecting with the floor as well. So I, this is a good view. So let's uh, let's go to a different layer. Let's hide this and let's change. Let's set our view. So let's set view to front, and you can see it's perfectly there. So we're gonna select everything going to type in make 2d okay then we're going to go back to top view you can see that our section cut was generated and of course the geography didn't really translate that well so you'll have to do a lot of cleaning up for this drawing uh, but that's okay we can do that later let's go back to our perspective view and you can see that um, in terms of a building it would become more difficult when you do it like that so let's go back to set view to perspective 
and now let's go back to our section plane and we're going to rotate this section plane now that we've done kind of a um, like a north to south section plane we're going to do an east to west so let's turn on ortho and we're going to rotate our section plane and we're just going to move this around until we find um, kind of a view that we think is uh, appropriate or that shows the most information so i think that i think that this one's good because it shows kind of that bathroom area so let's go to set view we're going to go to uh, I think it's front no it's not front set view I think it's left nope set view right yeah it's right okay so now we want to make 2d but we only want to make 2d this surface there's a lot of stuff behind it that we don't really want so let's go to our top view and we're gonna select this so now we have that selected we're gonna double click this and we'll type in make 2d and then if we go back, we have our make 2D of our east to west uh, section. And then of course, a lot of things you'll have to clean up, um, which we'll take care of. So let's go and start cleaning this drawing up. Um, you can see that a lot of lines are not looking too great. So let's go ahead and delete any lines that are not right. Um, a lot of these contour lines translated over when they weren't supposed to. So I'm just pretty much uh, trimming any kind of lines that don't belong in this specific view. So continue to do that until you have a clean drawing. So now what I did is I actually went back and I cleaned up all my drawings. So you can see that a lot of those extra lines were removed. And I made sure that um, all of my drawings, wherever everything was intersecting, um, I made sure that I trimmed it so that when we go back and we start to add the hatch, um, it becomes a lot easier to do that. So you can see that I've done that really quickly. So now with section cuts, uh, wherever you have a section, you'll start to actually have a hatch pattern. Um, so what we can do is we can go to hatch. We can select uh, our house. Let's press enter. And let's select all of the areas uh, where we have our sections happening. So I've selected all of those areas uh, super quickly. And let's press enter. And for this, I recommend either having a solid hatch or I recommend having a diagonal hatch. So let's go right over here. And of course, we make sure you reduce the scale. Um, it looks like 0.25 seems like a good scale. Uh, maybe a higher scale, so let's, a lower scale, sorry. Um, let's go back again. We'll select everything that we wanna hatch. Okay, so let's reduce that even more. Let's do 0.15. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, so we've quickly hatched to wherever kind of this building is being intersected. And make sure you do the same thing for that second east to south elevation as well. And this is where having a clean drawing really becomes handy because you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you save a lot of time. So let's press enter. And uh, we hit OK. So yeah, then we have those hatch patterns wherever those sections are occurring. And technically, you would do the same thing for the site as well. So let's select it and we'll select our uh, site. So you'll see that this is actually what's happening is that there's an opening right here. So this hatch is occurring there as well. So we want to make sure that we have any closed instances. Select everything, type in hatch, go back, enter, sorry, enter. And we'll do the same thing. You can see that the floor is being distinguished. And same thing for that other elevation as well. So yeah, now you have these sectional elevations that start to show your topography. It starts to show your building as well, where that section is taking place. And what happens is you will start to show where that section occurs um, in your floor plan as well. And we'll, we'll cover that uh, in a future video. Um, so that's it for this uh, part of the uh, video. Uh, we quickly went over hatching and creating um, floor plan sections, as well as creating um, these site sections or these sectional elevations. And the next video, we're going to quickly jump into um, exporting and how to do drafting.